The Incorporated Trades of Elgin, A Brief History Trade or craft organisations existed in Scotland from the time of David I, 1124 to 1153. The king who created the first boroughs in Scotland, including Elgin. On 28 November 1234, Alexander II, 1214 to 1249, granted a royal charter to the borough of Elgin, making it the most important town north of Aberdeen. The merchants of Elgin were allowed to form a guild, whose dean was allocated a place on the town council. At the same time, the trades were allowed to form themselves into corporations for the protection of their crafts and as a benefit society for members. This was a privilege accorded to only six boroughs in Scotland at this time, the others being Perth, Aberdeen, Stirling, Berwick and Dundee. Until the Reformation, they enjoyed the protection of the church, which was their final court of appeal. Each craft had its own assigned place in St Giles Church in Elgin, with its own altar, patron saint and priest. Elgin's importance continued through the Middle Ages as an episcopal see, a diocese or territory where which a bishop rules, occasional royal residence and a thriving centre of trade and manufactures, and the incorporated trades enjoyed considerable privileges. The trades had a monopoly of their crafts within the borough, maintained standards and exercised discipline over their apprentices and journeymen. However, it was not until the 17th century that the trades made a significant contribution to the political and economic life of the borough. The Royal Charter Facsimile of the Charter granted by Alexander II to the Guildry of Elgin in 1268, confirmed 22nd October 1396 by Thomas Dunbar, Earl of Murray. Seal Matrix The design is a drum and cross drumsticks, inscribed Sigillium Commune de Nova Elgina, meaning this is the sigil symbol of the community of New Elgin. Square Rights Minutes Book Minutes of the Square Rights from 28 September 1763 until 17 April 1818 Also includes a list of deacons from 1656 and a list of freemen 1715 to 1818 This is the deacon of the Hammermond Chain of Office Photograph of Lachlan Mackintosh. Lachlan Mackintosh was trades convener from 1882 until 1888. He was very active in promoting the trades after a period of inactivity. He designed the banner and the seal, both of which are on display in this case, and wrote a history of the trades. Convenery seal. This shows the Elgin town drum with the inscription Sigillium Commune de Nova Elgina meaning this is the sigil symbol of the community of New Elgin. This is the coat of arms of the incorporated trades of Elgin. Extract from the Magna Charta. This amendment is dated 1705 and grants representation on the Town Council to the Deacon Convener of the Trades, together with two other representatives. The original document dates from 1657. This is a photograph of the Incorporated Trades, dated 1929. Photograph of the Riding of the Marches, 1932 taken at the wards by the White Gates, showing convener Robert W. Forteeth and ex-convener George Clark on horseback, on foot, W. E. Watson, E. D. Jemison, James McIntosh and, holding the horse, George Forteeth. This took place approximately every two years at the inauguration of the new Deacon Convener and involved riding or walking the boundaries of the Trades Muir in what is now New Elgin. The Weaver's Quarter Pennies Book a quarterly subscription register from 1793 until 2008. This photograph shows the incorporated trades at the 7th centenary celebrations of the founding of Elgin Cathedral, September 1924. The Hammerman's Minute Book 
This dates from 1812 and continues until the 1900s. The tall, upright staff visible in the corner of this display cabinet is the Deacon Convener Staff of the Hammerman. The Glover's Apron On loan from Miss Anne Forteeth, Deacon Convener from 2007 to 2011. The trades continue to meet throughout the 20th century and act as a benefit society for their members. A new Deacon Convener was appointed every two years, accompanied from 1908 by a ceremonial riding of the marches along the boundaries of the Old Trades Muir. The first female Deacon Convener, Anne for Teeth of the Glovers, was appointed from 2007 to 2009, but by this time the membership of all the trades had declined and some of the traditional crafts were no longer in existence in Elgin. The incorporated trades were finally disbanded in April 2014. The last Deacon Convener, James Welsh, was instrumental to the donation of the Convenery Archive to Elgin Museum, along with those of the weavers and tailors, together with banners, seals, aprons, photographs and the Deacon Convener's chair. John Grigger made a similar donation of the effects of the square rights, and both passed their organisation's residual funds to the museum for acquisition and conservation and building maintenance, respectively. Bill Lyon also handed over the Hammerman's effects and Norris Patterson the shoemaker's effects. <laughs>